I want you to raise your hand if you know when the first anti-gun laws were passed in this country. Raise your hand if you do. 1865. You want to know when it happened? We fought a civil war in this country to give black Americans the equal protection under the law that we failed to secure them in 1776. But then you want to know what happened? Southern states passed anti-gun laws that stopped black people from owning guns. The Democrat Party, then as and now, wanted to put them back in chains. Then as and now, that's quite an accusation about the current Democratic Party. Who and what were you referring to? I was referring to Joe Biden and his expression of wanting to put them back in chains, dating back to Lyndon Johnson. I think Lyndon Johnson's so-called Great Society was one of the greatest misnomers in American political history, where even back then in the 1960s, 70% plus of black kids were born into two-parent homes. Today, that number is less than 30% in the opposite direction. The very policies that we implemented in this country in the name of helping black Americans have actually been disastrous for black Americans and all Americans. And I think that that's something that we need to you wake up to. In 1865, you were talking about the black codes, right? That's right. Passed, enacted to make it a crime for a black person to carry a gun exactly. out. But you're equating that to the current president? You're referring to economic change? What are you saying? Well, I, I was referring to Joe Biden's, I think, ill-chosen expression to say they're the party that wants to put you back into chains. What I'm actually saying is that if you look at the policies you of the modern Democratic that Party... You Democrats. Absolutely. So what right. I'm saying is that actually it's policies like that of Lyndon Johnson and Joe Biden that are actually holding black Lyndon Americans Johnson back. Lyndon Johnson the war on poverty? Yes, and in particular his great society where he actually created incentives in the family where if you're a family you could actually get more money by not having the father in the home. What? Guess what you get? You get what you pay what? for. What? I think it's been really bad for the black community. I think it's really bad for all Americans. What? Do you have anything on this before I move on to China? I don't see what one has to do with the other, but go on. I took up a lot of time with Fox. Oh, it's fine. We have time. I, I, I don't really see what one has to do with the other, especially considering and using the Civil War to talk about black Americans. That war was not fought for black people to have guns. That's, that's, that's not... That war was fought for black people to have freedoms in this country. Yeah, that's why the Civil War was fought. Okay. And the sad that part about it... For, for black people to have guns, I think. Actually, you know what a funny fact is? Black people did not get to enjoy the other freedoms until their Second Amendment rights were secure. And I think that that's one of the lessons that we learned. aren't allowed to enjoy the freedoms. I disagree with you on that, Don. I disagree with you on it. I think you're doing a disservice to our country okay. by failing to recognize the you, fact that we have more than you black laws. Again, and you live in this country, then you can disagree with me. But we're not. You mentioned it. You I disagree. Three different John, I think we have to be able here. to talk about these issues in the open regardless of the color of our skin. Black Americans today, to say that, compare that to 1865 and 1964, and absolutely, absolutely have equal rights in this country. I think it's insulting to black people. It's insulting to me as an African American. I don't want to sit here and argue with you because it's infuriating for you to put that, to put those things together. It's not right. Your telling of history is wrong. Your what, what you're saying history is wrong. What, 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 what part of history is wrong? The Civil War was fought. You're making people think that the Civil War was fought for black people, only for black people to get guns and for black people to. The have Civil War was fought for right. black people in this country to get freedoms, a noble mission. And I think that but even yes, after, right. even but after we succeeded, to, to we had to actually secure those freedoms. freedoms to reduce it in a speech at the NRA to say you're making people think or you're trying to say that black people um, to get guns that was that, that was the reason that you're there at the NRA that was the reason for uh, for the civil war it I is think a that's fact reductive, it's not and reductive, I think it's insulting there are a whole bunch it's of reasons that for the civil with due respect i find i find your explanation reductive and actually insulting including to black americans to say that black people today compared to 1964 1865 haven't made progress in part because of the freedoms we Secured. And the Second Amendment was well, part of the history of the Second Amendment. I cannot keep a thought if you guys are talking to me right here. So uh, hang on one second. So to say that, that black people, well, say, say what you said again. Black people secured their freedoms after the Civil War. It is a historical fact, Don. Just study it. Only after their Second Amendment right. rights were secured. They were not secured their freedoms after the Civil War. That is not you. You are discounting the, the Reconstruction. You're discounting a whole host of things that happened after the Civil War when it comes to African Americans, including the whole reason that the Civil Rights Movement happened is because black people did not secure their freedoms after the Civil War. And that things turned around. People would try to change the freedoms that were supposed and to And you know how they got it? They got their Second Amendment. Rights, and they actually got the NRA played a big role in that. But today, down the line, the NRA did not play a big role. Absolutely, they trained black Americans having firearms. That's a lie. That's that's a lie. That's that's not, the exactly. NRA did not play a big role. This is just historical fact. But that's not a historical fact. The part that I find, as you say, it's historical fact. The part that I find in.
insulting is when you say today black Americans don't have those rights after we have gone through that I've civil rights revolution in this country. You are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the, the, the way I live, the skin I live in every day. Here's what you and I have the freedom point in black and white that black people don't have in this he, country here, and that black people do have. Well, here's where you and I have a different point of view. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin. We should have this debate I'm not saying without me regarding you as a black man, but me regarding you as a fellow citizen. That you're that's sitting here, saying. whatever ethnicity you are, explaining to me whatever it is about about what it's like to be black. Whatever ethnicity I'm, I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American. I'm proud of it. But I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. I think we should have this debate. On the content of the idea. You, you should do it in an honest way. And in a fair way. And what you're doing is not an honest way. With, we appreciate you coming on. With thank due respect, I look forward to continuing that conversation. Well, thank you for the conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Bob. We'll talk about China. Yes, it does have a time. You come back. Oh, thank you. Much to say on declaring independence from China. Okay.